Hey guys, Kaders129 here again, and if you haven't noticed already, the playback for my videos has been going a little slower, not that much, but it's slow enough that I can explain more in detail each move and really be able to show you guys what I think and how I feel about each move here. Now also, I've made the introduction longer so that I can uh, explain each team more in depth and really explain how I really feel about uh, attacking my opponent's team and how I plan to do around the battle here. Besides that, today I have an RU battle again, Mr. Man 620. Um, you've seen in previous battles that I've uploaded, and his link will be in the description here. Now, looking at his team, he's got a really powerful core with the Charlotte Torpedo Magneton combo, and that can really, really uh, irritate me in the defensive side. Now, overall, he's also got a really offensive team. Han Scroll is going to be really offensive, Charlotte is going to be really offensive, Sharpedo. Galate, I'm not exactly sure, both of you have ended most likely, that's no more Magneton definitely going to be his wall. Now I'm going to leave with my Uxie because he doesn't have a spinner and Charizard, Honchkrow, definitely not appreciate his Delta Rocks there. So let's get on with the match here. Um, I probably might need to make an intro a little longer so I can explain even more team in depth, or I may need to go a little faster, we'll see in the future battles. But um, yeah, I'm going to lead off with my Uxie, he leads with Magneton here. And knowing that he can't do anything to me, I'm gonna stay and get up my first turn rocks here. He goes with Volt Switch just to get some initial damage on me, and he goes to go to Haunt for taking my stealth rock, which is pretty obvious considering that, again, uh, he has two Pokemon weak to rock, and overall his team won't really appreciate it. He he goes here, I predict the Night Slash, and I'm gonna go into my Upsy here, and he does go for the Night Slash. Uh, sorry, I go into my Magneton, wow. Uh, Magneton definitely looks like an Upsy, right? Anyways, he can switch back into his Magneton here, and I do predict that go with HP Fire, and now he has Magnet Bull, so I'm trapped, but he's not. I'm gonna go with HP Power anyway, and I almost kill the thing. So he's forced to stay, forced to switch, uh, forced to stay in here, because I do have my Stealth Rocks up, and he's definitely gonna kill him on the switch. So, he goes with Thunderbolt here, gets some nice damage off of me, while I just kill him with my Discharge. Now here, he's gonna go with Charizard, takes a hefty hefty load from that uh, cell block here and I decided to switch out I don't want to take a fire blast or a flamethrower anytime at all and he does go for a flamethrower and it does a giant load to my up here I'm not liking the damage and I really don't have anything that wants to take too many flamethrowers from this uh, Charizard he told me later this is modest toy spec and that's the reason why this Charizard did a crap ton to my up here I'm gonna go into my Hit Molly and no I can outspeed because I do have the Choice Scarf and that did way too much for a Choice Scarf Charizard. So I'm gonna hit him with the Stone Edge and that takes it out. He's doing the Duck Snore and I'm definitely gonna switch out here because I'm locked into Stone Edge and I know Stone Edge is not one hit KO this thing. I also fear the Will O Wisp. So I'm gonna go into my Sharpedo here. He gets a Will O Wisp off here and he thinks, okay, well, that's great because Sharpedo is physical, right? No. This is, again, uh, you've seen previous battle. This is my choice spec Sharpedo, um, inspired by Sharpedo file as you saw in the name there. And I go for the choice spec Dark Bolt, but it doesn't kill. I was like, are you flipping serious? Are you freaking serious? That choice spec Sharpedo would not kill Dust Noir. Dust Noir is very bulky. Sharpedo not, doesn't have the best special attack, but still, that is choice spec and that's very, very powerful. That Dark Bolt. He goes for the Will Wiz, hits me, and then Shadow. And then uh, Shadow sneaks me, and I leave with 6 HP, which is great, even though I do die here from the burn. I do manage to call the Dust Noir, and it's a double down here. I'm gonna go into my Drapion because I can set up the Toxic Spike and kind of really. Oh. The. The. Haha. You don't really know what I want to say here, okay. Really be able to physically wall this thing. Because he doesn't need Gallade, and Psychic Attack won't hurt me. Close combat resisted, so he has to go for the Ice Punch. Shadow Fiend's not going to do as much as Ice Punch, so he's definitely going to go for that. I'm going to go for Toxic Spikes, and he's going to start bulking up here. What he doesn't know, or probably forgets, is that I do carry the Whirlwind, which most Drapions probably do carry in the first place anyway. And I'm going to go for my second layer Toxic Spike. I really don't fear this Galley at all, because I know Drapion can take at least one hit from the Galley no matter what it does to me. And um, that's exactly what I decided to do here. 
Now I'm gonna go for the whirlwind because uh, he probably doesn't know I have it still. And he's gonna go for the ice punch. Does a decent amount to me. Uh, actually, not that much actually. Drapion is definitely a beast. And he goes for the whirlwind. He goes, oh crap. He just set up for all that nothing, and that is really, really good for me. I drag him into his Haunch Ghoster, and I'm gonna switch out because I know I can take anything barring the superpower from the Haunch Crow, and no, he won't go for it because uh, Drapion does resist a superpower here. And playing according to his style, he wasn't really predicting much, so I knew I was safe switching to Magneton. Here, um, I went for the safe discharge. Uh, sorry, I went for the rest. Okay, yeah, I went for the rest. This is rest talking, Magneton, almost max special attack. And uh, Magneton definitely does a lot of work. But I definitely do not want to stay and take a drain punch of any sort. So I'm going to go right back into my Drapion here because I can resist it. And I know I can take all day this Gallade. All day. I can hit it back with crunches. I can do whatever I want to the Gallade. And it's all good. Here, I'm going to go for the crunch because I know it did decent damage to the Gallade. And it. Mm, does about wow it does way too much because it is a crit and that crit definitely mattered because he couldn't live more more of my crunches here went for the drain punch gets all that HP back it's not that much HP but it's enough to live a few more crunches and be able to fire back with drain punches and possibly kill me and now here he has to go over he's forced to go to the shadow sneak and it doesn't do any damage at all nothing it does not do anything and I'm gonna go for the earthquake it's kind of risky considering that the haunts could have come in and uh, you know completely dodge that earthquake but you know things happen like that he's going to sharpedo here and he's like easily going to take me out um, after he goes for the waterfall toxic spikes takes him pretty low with the life form I think that's why I saw uh, temptation was lagging in I'm gonna go into my magneton and I make a really stupid play here I forgot that sharpedo get earthquake and that really blows because I just lost my full HP Magneton for no reason at all. And that really sucks. Um, here, he shows me that he does have Life Orb. Uh, he just bugs all that turn already, but um, he shows me it and he goes for the Protect here. I do predict that Protect and I went for the Mock Punch instead of the High Jump Kick because I did not want to take that half HP damage from the uh, Miss. So what does I do here? I'm going to stay and go for the Mock Punch. Why not? Uh, actually, I do switch out. Wow. Uh, I should have stayed in. I really should have stayed in. Um, I think he was. I think he was predicting the Aqua Jet. Yeah, I was probably predicting the Aqua Jet, but he was with the Waterfall instead. Uh, I'm not really sure why, because that Mock Punch would have easily knocked out the Sharpedo if I decided to stay in. But um, I don't, and he gets lucky there. You know, here, he dies to the Toxic Damage, and I'm just going to go for the Flying Gem Acrobatics on the Haunch Run. That is the game. So, uh, good game, Mr. Met. I'm not exactly sure why he didn't go with Sucker Punch right there, but it's alright. Uh, the result would have been the same anyway. But uh, again, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like in below. Uh, remember to rate, comment, subscribe, check out my opponent's channel. And until next time, this is Kaylee Wintonite here saying peace.